Heavy rainfall this morning. When I was lying in bed, I was hearing some thunder, and I thought, you know, as being the reporter that I am, should I get up and take a look at this sure. so I can report here on the news? And while I was contemplating that, I fell asleep. But, you know, I, I tried to do my part. It's just how it was. Not dedicated to the job. That's what it sounds well, like to I, me, Marcus. I, I don't know. Sort of a bad day. I, I love the rain this morning, though. I'm <laughs> sure you were awake as well, too, Marcus, mm -hmm. with the little ones. Yes, that, that, that was true. Sure. But I, I, have to, I have to admit, I was siding with Neil a little bit there. I offered to uh, oh. rock little Marcus to sleep so I could fall asleep here in the rain. Uh, it is wonderful though it, to it sleep. Is. To oh, it is really yes, yeah. it, it is. It is welcome precipitation that we've had here in the area. We're glad to have it. Let me show you some of these rainfall totals that we've received. We've had some areas up in parts of Wood County between two to almost four inches of rain. Northwest Wood about two and two thirds. Cartwright over three inches. The Wood County Airport and Quitman right around three inches also. Gilmer, you had some pretty offensive rainfall last night. Two inches there. East Texas Regional Airport picking up just about a half an inch or so. Tyler pounds 3.35 Athens at 3.91. But notice the amount here just west of Athens along Highway 31. The radar estimating over seven inches. Cumberland Ridge at two and two thirds. As you go farther south, Palestine between an inch and two thirds and almost two and a half inches of rain. The amounts do go down just a little bit, but everybody picked up on at least some precipitation during the last 24 hours. Still some light showers out there for us now. But we will expand the view and you'll notice back out over central Texas. That's where more precipitation is already beginning to form ahead of the upper level system. So that means rain is coming our way here over the next few hours. So till about seven or eight o'clock, no big concerns besides a light passing shower or two. Now as the energy moves in later tonight, it's going to help increase the rain and storm coverage. So by 10 o'clock, when you check back in with us, we'll probably still have some rain showers and thunderstorms beginning to increase over East Texas. Notice where the rainfall occurs. If you saw heavy rain last night and this morning, some of the same areas will see this heavier precipitation. The difference now is that the coverage more widespread and especially north of Highway 21 in the overnight hours. So we have some good rain coming down for some locations even into tomorrow morning. A wet commute expected for some areas, just not as widespread as what most locations saw into tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, deep East Texas, you'll pick up on some precipitation. Some of the new rainfall amounts, maybe three or four inches in a couple of locations. So we have to keep that in mind for the potential of some minor flooding. If you have water that could be over a roadway, make sure that you're careful and go another direction. So we have showers tomorrow, temperatures in the 70s and the 80s, drying out as we get toward the weekend. As a cold front moves in, lower humidity, which will be nice, but notice what happens next week. Tuesday, a strong front arriving. That means next Wednesday, highs perhaps in the 70s and lows down in the 60s and the 50s. Still a little ways off, but it does look to be coming. Deep East Texas, not as warm the next few days. We'll go upper 80s and low 90s. Still some showers over the next few days, but getting a little drier by the weekend. Yes, sir.